Oh, crap. I just spilled my water all over myself to start the stream. Hi, everybody. I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome to uh, live stream number five of my Seraph campaign, which might be the finale. We'll see how uh, the PC wants to run today. Um, hold on. Let's do that. Okay, so we're about to go to war with the Black League here. And uh, I think we're going to do A-OK -okay against them. Uh, we're pretty damn strong and only getting stronger. We finally have every single general available to us. I probably, in hindsight, should have grabbed some of the other generals from, uh, you know, some of the other, the other warlords that we defeated. Uh, but I guess, in a pinch, I could always do something which I haven't done in a long, 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 long time. I could just make a new commander with political power, because I sure have enough political power. I feel like the, the music's a little bit too loud. Hold on. Right about there. Yeah. So yeah, some Monday morning madness out here. Good morning, person person. Uh, where we're going to be making our way to the Pacific. Again, I don't know for sure if we're going to make it out there, but maybe. Maybe. They're probably not going to stream more than a couple of hours, though. As always, there's always something to do. Something to be fixed, something to be clean, some errand to run, something to be read, some project to be worked on. It never ends. Make sure I got the economy up here. Okay, good. I think uh, these tank divisions will be ready in time. Uh, but this is this is going to be a total route, I think. Yeah, they've only got 24 divisions. They're clearly concentrating them here in the south uh we're gonna get a quick encirclement i think right here we'll probably take out like a third of their army right here go come down uh, east uh, or like come come down here through tumen and that'll be that uh keep making our artillery even better we got big soft attack everywhere Oh, yeah, my intelligence agency just finally finished. <laughs> yeah, it's funny stuff. Um, oh, that's right. That's why I never do the agency stuff here, because you got this dumb... Yeah, I don't I don't like this. You have to go left to right. I don't know why they did that. I hope everybody is having a nice Monday. Obviously, I've got the day off, but not really. There's no days off. There's just days where you work on different things. That's all it is. Hmm. Uh, what else is there still for me to take? Blueprint for struggle. I could start sending things to different areas. Like, I could go into Central Asia, prepare the region for reunification. But I think they're already reunified, so no sense in doing that. Uh, support anti-German activists in the east. Oh yeah, we could start this, uh, this border war, apparently, with the, uh, with the the Eastern Reich's Commissariats or something, but I don't know if that's only going to work if um, Moscow exists, which apparently doesn't. <clears throat> I'd have to also go grab some water at some point, since like I said, I started the stream by spilling it all over myself. Cool. Um, okay, what am I behind the most on? Everything seems to be fine. I guess we're just upgrading, so put a little more into the motorized, and then uh, I'll drag this up here, and then we'll start putting more into infantry. I like to usually have four factories making infantry, but it's fine. Hmm, construction speed. Yeah, we want that industrial equipment boost happening. Uh, yeah, it's only going to be a matter, within a year, we're going to increase our industry base, so we'll be at full-blown innovative industry, which is very, very good. Army professionalism, we're also working on getting better. It's going to go to political interference, which is going to hurt our daily political power gain. Actually, kind of significantly, but again, we just have so much that it hardly matters. The border has been in flux for decades. You know, that's going to start the war, though, as soon as I take that, so maybe we wait. 
we will get that electronics research bonus. Merry Christmas, 1968. Ah, cool. Good timing indeed. Hope you had a good day at work, Frank Chan. Well, as good as days at work can be. <laughs> Um, what else do we want to do here? I was going to do something here. Or, no, yeah, we're just waiting for the new year. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. There it is. Okay. Oh, we have some free use of the military factories here. Um, where do I want to put them? Yeah, right here. Tons and tons. Let's see if we can get a full 24 uh, tank divisions going. That would be nice, but I'm for prepare for the war. Boosting the spending, always. Looking for a grand showdown. What's going on here? Why is it not letting me... Here we go, the Ural War. Uh, we could raise reserves, sure. We want that. Uh, I don't think we really need the more political power, so we won't do that. Let's get infrastructure, though. Let's get the recon company bonus. This and this. Okay. I think we're pretty much ready. <sighs> no Christmas in Serov's Russia. <laughs> You're right. It's Christmas all year round because we have this amazing society. Oh wow, could I actually afford a couple of these at once? Hmm. 53 days, that's all it'll take for me to catch up on the equipment there. Well, let's change this color. I want it to really pop uh, so I can see it easily right here. Now, who do we got winning between uh, Sekhanov? Oh, the modernists took control. Hmm, interesting. We live in an amazing society. It really is the best, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna come up here, build those military factories. Nice, okay. I actually might get that political power, actually. Because uh, we're not going to have a ton of it forever. We're going to have to do some... We're going to have to do a lot of integrations once we head east. But I don't feel like I stepped into a deep red hole I'm not going to come out of. Well, because of music or something? Uh, we can encourage agricultural mechanization, but I don't think we have to anymore because we've maxed it out. Cool, so that's going to save me political power there. The second inauguration of Wallace F. Bennett. So I guess the United States likes whatever it is he's doing. All's quiet. A steady pair of hands to guide America through its social divisions and deepen its OFN commitments. All is quiet. All is calm. Oh, there we go. There's the viewers coming in now. <laughs> hmm, why is this saying we're not quite ready? You know what? Let's adjust this front line. We're going to move you up here, and then this one needs to be extended. Like so. Mm, right there. Oh, not quite, not quite. Right there. Did you cheese it? Uh, more tanks. More, 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 more. The United States of America likes ruining their nation with Bennett. <laughs> uh, we can invest in scientific research. Now that, I think, is something I want to do. Yeah, let's at least get to the modern research facilities, which is also going to hurt our political power gain. Um, yeah, I want to be doing that. Is Bennett's portrait that one girl with the massive fuck-off shield from Fate? 
I don't know. I don't know the the Fate Extended Universe. This one with the pink hair and glasses. I don't know. Hmm. Seraph looks way too happy. Why would he? Yeah. Why wouldn't he be happy? We're lowering the poverty rate. We've got the best agriculture in the world. We got pension plans universal, uh, for our citizens and universal health care, as long as they're, you know, not Armenian. Uh, <laughs> it's an awesome, awesome world we've built. Hmm. Yeah, the, the Black League's just way too stretched out. It's Mash Key Light from Fate. I've never heard of Mash Key Light. Aren't all the Fate characters based on... Um, Historical figures. You look this up. Or at least mythical figures, even if they're not real. But yeah, it does look like she has a shield. Oh my gosh, the shield's bigger than her is. Than, excuse me, than she is. What's her background? She does not... She's a demi-servant who does not know the identity of the servant fused with her. This is the first I've heard... Uh, of like that servant fusions oh oh but she's based on Galahad one of the knights of the round table okay that makes sense yeah Galahad I think was uh, Lancelot's son who he never acknowledged yeah I told you she has a massive fuck off shield yep Uh, pollinate the steppe. Let's see, we got influence Central Asia. Mission abroad. Let's set up this Middle, Middle East thing. This sounds interesting. Hmm. Been reading a bit of local history releasing in my country has had a lot of communists that when Nassau and TNO's time frame. Would be funny if TNO. Included themselves as uh, historical Serov light routes. Serov never broke from the CPSU, I think. It would be interesting to see some parties and figures that actually espoused his TNO beliefs before their beliefs got quashed after World War II. Okay, let's start getting advanced artillery. Interesting idea. I forget, do I have planes? Ooh, freezing up, freezing up, freezing up, freezing up, freezing up! No, 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 no! Okay, we're good. Um, let's just bring these and assign them to follow them. Um, oh yeah, we have some other fighters, I guess, that we captured or whatever. Actually, no, get rid of that. We'll instead do set the limit here and here. Looks like we might end up having some trouble here in the north. But I think that's just because of the river crossing. We're not getting the total green light. They've concentrated their motorized divisions in the south. This is going to be easy peasy. Angola war has begun. MPLA and you need our fight. He's Seraf looks too kawaii. No, I don't watch Moe Order streams to see kawaii portraits. Stop it. Okay, we will support anti-colonial struggles. Ugh. Oh, cool. Poverty relief programs can get up and running again. And that would be great if we could actually improve it again. 
get down to the 15 to 25 percent poverty rate what's the united states at i don't remember where you could check that i think you have to actually be the country to look at those sort of details we're gonna have a better poverty rate than bennett's america is basically what i'm saying i'm pretty sure Trade enemy services. You thought the titty got uh, the titty. The city got renamed to UST Sisculus. Well, maybe it got changed back when we uh, when we had Seraf be in charge again. But oh, we're really behind on uh, getting the better infantry weapons in there. I probably actually should just start building planes. My, my army is just fine. Doom, doom. Come on, let's go. Oh, just gotta wait on these fortifications. Why do I ever do those? It's gonna take how many more days? 31? Okay, so we won't do this, but... We're gonna be right... Freudian slip from CHG. I have been having dreams with uh, women in them uh, prominently featured. Not sex dreams, but, uh, you know. It'd be, yeah. It'd be happening. Alright, so Darkest Africa. I don't know what that necessarily means, who we can send volunteers for, to. Um, but whatever. Blueprint for struggle. Oh, it's because I have to take this before we could t send volunteers out. There's your problem. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, well, one of the things that I want to do today later on after I'm done streaming is I really want to work on uh, some Legend of the Galactic Hero stuff and also basically on a lot of stuff for the other channel for Voyages in Time because I haven't uploaded a single freaking um, French Revolution video even though those are going to be short less than five minute ones I need to knock them out returning expatriates I really don't think I need this I don't need either of these anymore really uh, agriculture is already maxed out. Let's do the academic base. Seraph's flag is awesome. Yeah, I think it's perfect for his radical centrism. Vice President says my name is Ivan as well, just like Seraph. And Sosalia says today I received a package of a controversial book. Oh, those are fun when you order those. Yeah, I remember, okay, so when I was in high school, uh, I don't know if, I'm sure other high schools do this, but I don't know how common it is. It's, um, there, there were these things, these kind of classes that you could take, which were called courtesies, and I think you could, they could count as like an elective, and basically you would work for the school, uh, for, you know, one class period a day or whatever. So you had different courtesies, so for example, I remember my senior year, I was a courtesy for the front office, uh, so I was, I would help, um, carry paperwork around basically i was an unpaid intern um and uh, but like you you had different different classes of courtesy so i had a friend who uh at the time was uh, a courtesy for the school library so he would help organize the books um keep track of missing books uh who's got late fees and stuff and then he comes up to me and uh, he says, hey man, you're overdue on a couple of books, but I, I think you might be the only person in the school, which I don't think so. I think dude, that was very uh, underrating the, the school. Um, there's like, you're the only person in the school who would have this combination of books checked out. I had late fees on a copy of The Communist Manifesto and Roots by Alex Haley. <laughs> uh, Let's see, so I guess he's never heard of black communism. All right, so our army professionalism went up just in time for the war. Excellent. Most excellent. 
You know what? We actually are going to do that weekly manpower boost just for the, um... Because, cause, you know, I want to have 24 tank divisions eventually, hopefully. Uh, okay, like, one day we're going to be able to begin the invasion. There we go. And we now have the better main battle tanks ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and create a variant on them. Actually, reliability needs to be the priority. There we go. Oh shoot, which one is it? That one, yeah. Uh... <sighs> but yeah, he was, he was just very amused by that combination of roots and the Communist Manifesto. Uh... Okay, it's way too ahead of time for that stuff. Alright, yeah, so our tanks are basically about to be as good as they can possibly be. See, I was an assistant at the library, but it was a fucking joke. Me and the other kid just something around all periods probably goofed around and only rented out books to kids twice in six months or sat around. The book is called On the Historicity of Jesus by Richard Carrier. Hmm, haven't heard of it. Um... Modernist Tomsk is broken. Well, they're winning right now. They're in charge right now. Omsk is condemning us. Uh, so refugees are fleeing to us. They're they're saying we are just rapacious, uh, rap rapacious warlords here to profit off the dark age of Russia, but simultaneously we're naive idealists and capable of making the hard choices needed. Okay, the League was never going to leave us alone. So they've condemned us. Oh no. Hey, why is it red up here in the north? fortified now. They don't even have anybody. I think they're moving their... Oh, no. That was like, where's the divisions at? There they are. War on the horizon. War was beginning. Okay, foreign instructors. Let's keep getting that uh, army professionalism up some more. People gotta understand idea and ideologies, and they can't do that without reading about them. Exactly. That's like saying, oh, I would never, like, like imagine trying to be a, the, the example I always use is imagine trying to be a scholar of, say, the rise of Nazism or, or, you know, the war in Europe during World War II, and you never crack open Mein Kampf because you hate Nazis. Well, what, are you afraid you're going to open it and it's going to turn you into one? Yeah. But, what's going on here? Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, the condemnation. Oh, no, anyway. He says, it's a theory that Jesus of Nazareth slash Jesus Christ is a completely mythical figure and not a historical one. Holmes Bastiards? No, no, it's not Bastiards, they're the modernists. Although I think, was it the modernists that initially won? It wasn't it the, uh, the Decemberists who initially were in charge? Okay, um, what do we want to do around here? We're kind of just taking stuff to take it now. But uh, can we send these volunteers down here? Yet? Yeah. Somewhere? Yeah, cool. So we can send volunteers to help the MPLA if we wanted. But it's not relevant because we're about to go to war. Uh, but afterwards, if they're still alive, we maybe go help them. Hmm. Uh. I thought I had built some more infrastructure somewhere. Hmm. I don't know, let's do this here. Oh, cool, and uh, these main battle tanks are ready to go. They're not going to be trained up quite, but uh, that's fine. Your high school had a class on the rise of Hitler, but it never read Mein Kampf. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. I don't know if anybody here lives in Germany, but I remember reading about this a few years ago. That, um, that, like, the German government was in control of the copyright for, uh, Mein Kampf, but they weren't doing anything with it, and then it was about, like, the deadline was coming up. God, I hope I'm remembering this right, and I don't just, I hope this isn't dementia setting in and I'm having a false memory, but... 
I think I remember reading a thing where then the German government did publish their own version of Mein Kampf, and it, but it, so they could like renew the copyright or something because they didn't want it to go into the public domain for neo Nazis to use. But they included in it a bunch of essays, basically saying, "Okay, this is why this book is bad." <laughs> Chucklehead. Now that's a phrase we don't hear enough. Chuckleheads. All right, war was beginning. Look, like an hour into the war, they took 1.6 casualties, and we've only taken 1.24. So I think this might just be one of those old-fashioned Hearts of Iron Four war arrows go burr wars right here. Yep, capturing all the things. That did happen. Okay, oh, it was Bavaria that did it, not Germany. Oh, of course. Uh, of course it was Bavaria. Yeah, Bavaria and hating Nazis. Is there a more iconic duo? They also nitpicked spelling mistakes and historical inaccuracies. I like that. I like that they didn't just, um, why are my tanks going slower than everybody else? What's happening here? Uh, yeah, like my southern infantry force here under, um, Bremsk is, uh, is totally kicking ass right now. Ooh. Yeah, so it's just a, it's like, look, there's all these historical accuracies. Hitler was an idiot, but also he used the wrong there in uh, in this paragraph. He used the, he said there instead of there when he meant there. <laughs> all right, we seized the mausoleum. Four decades of history are in our hands. So we could preserve him, which is I think our only option. So this will increase the popularity uh, popularity of authoritarian socialism. And uh, we will get his mausoleum, which increases political power gain and stability. Yeah, my stability, my base stability has got to be about 200 by now. <laughs> I actually do have my own copy of Mein Kampf. Funnily enough, it used to belong to my uh, high school library. War. Rooks. There we go, now we're moving along here. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's start uh let's start making planes. Who's better, Gumilev or Serov? Uh, I don't know, I've never played Gumilev. I know that he's been in charge, you know, at the bar that started by Tabaritsky and my, um, and this run, but uh, it's not like we were supporting him at all, so. But Gumilev's the historian, isn't he? The historian who wants to create Eurasia? For that reason alone, we gotta eventually uh, play him. Plus, I've got a really good thumbnail for it. Somebody gave me. Uh, hold on. Look at this, 239,000 casualties and counting. Gummy Man will end the world eventually? Really? Alms talked a lot of shit for this? Yeah, it's just... Is this it? Is this all the Black League could conjure? Insurrections happening in Oman. I wonder if we can send them volunteers later. We're at war right now, so we'll look into that. That is a tiny crop top. Uh, 
I think once we take Omsk, that's gonna be it. Although I think I think that Omsk could actually collapse before you take their capital. Uh oh. Whoops. Let's crush this real quick and then come down here. But I think that's gonna do it. Uh, no, that's only 98% of the way there. Okay, fine. Where'd their capital go? In the north? Yeah, Vorkuta. Alright. This is where we'll mount our comeback from. And we just got the gulags, that's it. They supported Omsk, but not the actual democratic regime. Yeah, the Central Siberians. Yeah, 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 but you see, it's this is a liberal democracy, and Ben, it's conservative democracy, so it doesn't want to help them. If it was the other way around, it might work that way too. Okay. Actually, I guess it's Kazakhstan we're gonna go after next, but let's set up all the integrations. Uh, we can also do the reunification here. Uh, I don't see any reason to... Well, let's let's finish Split the Separatists and then we'll do that. And uh, we also want to improve the workers' training before we upgrade again. Yeah. But doesn't Omsk have a thing where they're either trying to seduce the United States? So maybe there's just not an event here where they go seeking the United States approval. The Guiding Star. Oh yeah, I need to be sending out uh, volunteers. I forgot. <laughs> Whoops, I think, and I think the ones I could help just died. Here we go, so I can help out the Dofar Rebellion. How many can I send? Two? Let's send a cup. You know, I probably should just send the 20 width. So I was gonna take some of the send some of the 40 width tank divisions, but that's probably a bad idea. Uh, in Yemen, I would imagine there's not a whole lot of infrastructure out there. Okay, let's go help the MPLA as well. Who else can we help? Uh, I actually don't have a clue. Uh, what other wars are going on in the world? Ongoing conflicts, Omani, Omani. Portuguese are fighting somebody, I don't know if we can get involved there. Is there like a Congolese war? Here we go, yeah, so I could send, I could send help to the Popular Republic of the Congo. Alright, very good. You know, for the popular, or actually, let's send a couple of my elite infantry and see how they do out there. <sighs> Whoop, there goes the manpower. Oh, okay. Uh, can we help anybody out here? I guess there would have to be... Somebody who's like us, and I don't see that. There's two wolves inside of us all. The right Ordo Socialists and the left Ordo Socialists. Which are you? Yeah. <laughs> I saw a variant on that thing who said there's two the there's two wolves inside you. One's an asshole. The other one's also an asshole. I guess what I'm saying is that you're an asshole. <laughs> Hey, why is my Ordo Socialism down? Why am I under 50%? Anyway, let's unify! Yeah, here we see Spain in its natural environment. Six way civil wars. Right, let's try to get in a little closer. So I can send a bunch of, like, help. Oh shoot, I forgot to do the border war! Whatever. Uh, is there gonna be anything here that moves me left or right? I hope not. I hope that I'm set now. 
Triumph of the Theorist. Oh yeah, there's Marx, and I guess, and then this is Lenin, and I guess that's supposed to be Engels, and then me! Shut off. Let's do the nuclear program, fuck it. Yeah, you can't spell Spain without pain. So begin the Iberian Wars. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can send help to anybody. Is this a new song for the Iberian Wars? Hmm. So, who we got between Sablin and the Modernists? Spark a border conflict between Bukhara and Kislark. Is Bukhara? Spain is just a different word for <laughs> for a civil war. It's a it's a it's a synonym. Get the uh, better. Oh, wait, no, we started waiting on that. The jet, the jet research. Um, big old jet Atlanta. An end to wonders. That's fine. Come on, my volunteers need to get over here already. Hallelujah, they made it. Okay. Quickly, quickly, slice, take back. Go, go, go. And over here in Omani. Also go, 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 go. And there's our Congolese volunteers. I guess we should uh, close one of the fronts off first. Oh yeah, just no trouble at all slicing right into them. Very good, very, very good. Yeah, we're gonna be just fine. It's gonna be all right. Okay. Oh shit, yeah, take Sumba and then up here, Baza Congo. Ah, they're getting torn to shreds out here. How many divisions do they still have? They've got one division, just this one here. It's not even in uh, N Namibia. Fuck. Huh. Uh huh. Supplies can come through. What is taking so long? Come on. Thank you. Sort of a start. Shit, they're gonna fucking walk into the capital. Alright, let's check out on the Omani volunteers. Oh, yeah, doing very, very good. Against these losers, they're just a the basic infantry divisions. Oh, hey, what's happening here? I think it's only the terrain that slows me down even a little. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is I'm getting some attrition pain. Attrition pain, Peko. You think the MPLA lost this one? Oh, really? The MPLA lives! This is a core of theirs, right? Yeah. 
It's fine, and uh, you are a hereditary reactionary if you're thinking we haven't done. You want me to do a month of French Revolution, French Empire, and white flag waving playthroughs? <laughs> XD, XD! French Surrender Monkey, XD! <laughs> LOL, OMG! So F U N N Y! Oh no, excuse me, F U N N I! <laughs> Alright. When's the next French Kingdom video come up? Yeah, sorry, I forgot to upload it. I've got a couple recorded. I need to I need to just upload them. That was my bad. Everybody, excuse me. Get, out. Get somebody in charge here. Of course it's an infantry person. Set off the base slowly of Russia. <laughs> hmm. Having a little trouble breaking through here. Why is this guy not moving? Get your asses up there! Fuck. Oi, what's this? Okay, no, I thought this. I thought this grave was something else. Seraph the philanthropist helps my inner nature that true altruism me if there's no hope of winning. Yeah, making uh, the French wave the white flag of surrender. Was this fucking 2007? <laughs> Guys, um, did you know if you <laughs> typed in, <laughs> if you type in French victories in the Google search, it will say, did you mean French defeats? <laughs> all right, so let's start uh, developing all this crap. With those research facilities, there, there, there. Okay, yeah. Oh, where's all of our political power? It's because we're doing all those integrations. All right. Aha! Who said the MPLA lost? Who said it? Frenchy, Frenchy. You're a timeout. For being a loser. <laughs> for being wrong. Uh, anyway. People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola has defeated the National Union for the total independence of Angola in a war. The airport of Africa could not stand up to the Americans in the air. What? The Americans had nothing to do with this. It was all me, baby. Woo! All me. Yeah, of course, the commander that I created uh, was an infantry leader. Uh. Oh, yeah, I remember the days of the Freedom Fries, Tenbrae. Because uh, you're talking, because Tenbrae was bringing it, ten, Tenebrae. I keep, I keep forgetting to add the second E. Tenebrae's right. I remember, uh, I'm old enough to remember the, when, uh, the United States was going into the Iraq War. Of course, I was a kid, I didn't have, like, political opinions on it. But I do remember the whole, freedom fries, not French fries, because, uh, you know, France was saying, hey, maybe we should wait for the inspectors to finish or something. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that was a whole thing. And, and freedom toast! Instead of, uh, we help these guys. Is there nobody we could help in this war? Can't get involved at all. Um. Yeah, that was a whole thing. Advanced artillery, the king of the battle. Uh-oh. Come on, come on. Yeah, I think... Oh, wow! Flangelis Spain won. I think Franco's dead. That never happens. He always just ends up winning anyway, so it gets boring. Yeah, a lot of the stuff from the early 2000s, for those of you who don't remember, it really was weird uh, to kind of say out loud. I, I don't want to use the phrase Orwellian, but it was a very strange culture. Um, 
you know, the two that the first, you know, the Bush years. I'm not saying whether I agreed, whether I liked or did not like Bush, but just saying, I'm just saying the Bush years because he was president at the time. But yeah, there was the there was the Freedom Fries thing. Oh, ho, 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 Chi Men has died. Um, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, but there was, uh, there was like the, the terror color alert. So it was this, it was this chart, you know, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Cause I, I need to show the picture. You guys are going to think I sound crazy. Terror alert color chart. Or excuse me. The Homeland Security Advisory System. So, and they still actually kind of have something like this on military bases, but it's not color coded. Yeah, so you would have, you had your terror meter chart and they would tell you, you know, the, the color of the day is yellow. We are at an elevated risk of attacks. Um, yeah, it takes the uncertainty out of staying informed of the level of terror in our nation. Move the terror indicator to the current threat level, which corresponds to how terrified the American people are of a threat of terror attack. Terror is all around us. It can strike at any time. Thanks to the terror meter, you will never have to wonder how terrified you should be. Proceed with caution. I think the proceed with caution thing is a joke, but um, yeah, these were this was a thing uh, in the Bush years. Um, so so it was like green was a low, blue was guarded, yellow was elevated, H was orange, red was severe. Uh, and people would report on it like it was the, 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 like it was the fucking weather. Uh, you know, it was, it was news, you know, like the terror alert color is currently red or whatever, you know, it's, it's currently orange. But we make fun of, uh, but we make fun of Fidel Castro's government for, uh, being proud of their cow. Approach immigre scientists. Uh, yeah, sure. The freedom fries thing didn't even show us. French fries aren't Belgian. We took credit to piss off the Belgians. Yeah, isn't that how Belgian waffles are too? Belgian waffles aren't even on, uh, you aren't even from Belgium. Oh, so some friends of mine were, were telling me uh, about a guy who, I guess he had lost a bet. And uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on what your strategy would be um, for dealing with this. On, you want the material, yeah, material production. Uh, what the strategy would be uh, if you had to do this. So the guy lost a bet and he had to spend 24 hours in a Waffle House, which is apparently a grimy, bad place. I've never been to a Waffle House myself. Um, they don't have them here in El Paso, and whenever I've been out of town where there are some, I don't go get them. Uh, so, you gotta spend 24 hours in the Waffle House. Um, you can go to, like, the parking lot if you need to charge your phone in the car. You could, um, and, uh, every time you eat a waffle, you get, uh, you can deduct an hour. So let's say you started at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, if you eat a waffle, you now only have to be there till 8 a.m. If you uh, uh, eat a second waffle, you only have to be there till 7 a.m. But apparently from the pictures I saw, Waffle House uh, waffles are fucking huge. They're like uh, the size of your head. Um, uh, come on, come on, push, 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 push. I don't know why we're having so oh I know why, it's because our weight's too heavy. I need you know what? What am I researching here? Um let's let's switch this off and go get logistics. I don't think it's really gonna be relevant though. Um Yeah, but look at that big MPLA. It really stands out amongst all the tiny little colors. Uh, so for me, I, I don't know, like, cause the guy, the the guy who did it, the one that they showed me, 
I think he ended up having like 10 waffles. So he just did 14 hours, but he was even talking about how he felt like crap eating so much uh, waffles and like he was drinking coffee to try to, like a lot of coffee to try to stir it out, you know what I mean? Um, and it just sounded like an absolutely miserable experience. And so for me, I, I thought like, oh, 24 hours, I'm just gonna get a couple, get bring some books, bring my headphones and kick my feet up. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just keep stuffing all that breading into me and it just sounds awful. Like my stomach hurts thinking about it. <laughs> no more helicopters. I didn't do the helicopters this time. I've done them before, but not this time. Okay. You love waffles, so just keep stacking them up. Oh, cool. Can we help out in Egypt? Yeah, we can help out Nasir. I think we've all been in agreement that Nasir looks better um, when he's not Moe. He's got that huge smile portrait. <laughs> um, how many volunteers can we send? Two. Uh, I think we're just going to send regular infantry to help out. Wait, was that the- I think I said the tanks. Fuck. Oh, we've been cut off. That's not good. Alright, uh, source materials... There's foreign materials. I really should just have him turn around, actually. Just come oh, he can't move! He's stuck! The attrition's got him. Uh, you know, I think this division is attacking here. We might be able to go east. He could peacefully reunify with Sablin once he's done shooting him. Alright, Sudan is, uh, is ready. Oh, there we go, there we go. Nice. Okay. We're all good. It's all good now. Uh, so Sudan, who can we help? The Bathist state makes sense. Uh, yeah, whoo. We finished all this up just in time to help all over the world. Or at least this hemisphere. Alright, get moving to Sir. I'm able to help because uh, the focus tree let me. tanks. How are the Konglinese doing? Gotta get up to Kindu. It looks like uh, Sablin is staying pretty, uh, pretty wholesome chungus or whatever y'all like to call it. Hmm. Revolutionary Command Council has won. Okay, cool. Or uh, where's our volunteers? Down here. Um, there we go. Belgium, weird thing to call the South Netherlands. Benin. Uh, and there you go. The Popular Republic of the Congo has won! We've established two uh, states in Africa. Very nice. Uh, very, very cool indeed. Uh, 
having some trouble down here in Omani because of the uh, lack of supplies. Pretty annoying. Alright, my Sudanese forces have also arrived. Come on, get here. Muscat is right there. Uh, get them here and get them moving to Bur Sudan. Not be too difficult. this Egyptian war will actually end and we don't get that weird situation where somehow the uh, the the kingdom of Egypt still is hanging out somewhere in the world. Mine's on the mountain. Yeah, that's a good point. Come up here and then here. Wholesome Serov selflessly helping Africans. Yep. Red African pan nationalism is centrist, combining far left with pan nationalism. Does that even out? <laughs> yes, you know. Gotta come up here. Ah, uh, the Bathist got cut in half. We gotta get some supply to them. Wait, wait, wait. Stop that guy. There you go. Kingdom of Egypt is dead and gone. Long live the Egyptian Revolutionary Command Council! Bathis victory in Egypt. The collapse of Ithal Ithalian. Italian authority in Egypt has finally com was finally completed today as Gabil Abdel Nasir and the forces of the Egyptian Revolutionary Council having triumphed in the land of pharaohs. Rising anti-Italian and anti-colonial sentiment in Egypt have culminated in a failed coup d'etat by the Free Officers Movement, sparking a multi-sided civil war. Despite the failure of their initial coup, the Sears forces have successfully defeated their opponents and proclaimed the new Arab Republic of Egypt. Abdel Nasir and his Batha party are staunch anti-colonialists and firm believers in the idea of a pan-Arab state, views that have proven to be uh, quite popular amidst the Egyptian public. International observers regard their victory in Egypt as a major blow to the Italian Empire amidst the ongoing oil crisis and the possible beginnings of a new power block in the Middle East and North Africa. A free Egypt? <laughs> <laughs> I worked with a guy who integrated from Egypt and he worked with a serious nephew. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, those little degrees of separation thing. Like, um... Uh, I knew a guy, I had a, I had a, I knew a guy, I didn't know him, he was my captain, but I had a captain who, um, he, uh, when he was younger, he was neighbors with Jimi Hendrix's dad, uh, let's see here, oh, we can do a military intervention in Kazakhstan now, let's wait on that though, um, where's that one with the military intervention? Where is that? Huh. What? There it is. Military intervention in Kazakhstan. So in 75 days we declare war. Let's wait on that. It's not like the other ones are going to take it anytime soon. Let's uh, try to at least win things in the Sudan for our, our based boys. There we go, very nice. Okay, once we get the chance, let's then keep going this way. Very good, very, very good. Damn! I can't fucking break in there. It's an ugly war out here, that's for sure. That's it, I'm just completely out of supply. What the fuck? Uh. 
Maybe I should start the war once I'm done with Sudan, so then these volunteers will come back and then I could send infantry out there, because I'm sure the infantry would have completely crushed this very easily. Damn it! We got a cut off up there again! Son of a bitch. Having supply 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 problems. Supply problems. Let's see. Can I send supply planes? I don't think it works that way with volunteers. Alright. There we go. There's the... There we go. Shouldn't have to worry about getting sliced in half now. Leet that, and then come here, and here, and go. This stream is dedicated to the brave Dolphar fighters. There you go, now you get it. Or you know what, can I just change these to the elite infantry? that help at all? Not really. I think the game is saying I'm not getting any supplies because there's no port here. I actually, I think that's what's actually going on. Yeah, I'm just stuck. I think it's a like a little error. No port. That's fucking annoying. Um, no, no, don't, don't get too caught up fighting that guy. Actually, yeah. But what are we short on? Rubber, of course, rubber. Division's not even gonna be relevant, it's not gonna catch up in time. Oh, we lost the uh, supply chain. soon be gone to the lamentation of none oh i can send volunteers to them too i didn't even see that uh okay hold on where's my infantry it's the, the brown ones yeah okay some air volunteers too the terrorist attack in italy oh it's the music up here a young democracy threatened by radicalism Getting really interesting in the Middle East with us intervening. Oh, what's that beeping noise? That must be for the fireworks, right? Timer of some kind, huh? Awesome! Right as the explosion happened, the Ba'athist state of Sudan has been established. Hurrah! Hurrah! Well, I think the Dofar Rebellion is going to be able to pick this one up pretty soon. Give it up for the Dofar Rebellion! Hurrah! Hurrah! They kill Omanis just for fun! Hurrah! Hurrah! Funny year of lead, yes, yes indeed. Okay, cool, so we took Sir, and I guess we got supplies from it. So let's do a force attack. Now our Yemeni volunteers, damn. This would be like porn to the Yemeni people today. Why this is right here, what we're doing to the Saudis.
Come on, get in there. Four more days. We might have to reactivate the force attack. Come on, come on, come on. Auto save. Hang in there. There it is. Attack from both sides. Now they're definitely going to drop. Yes! I think that'll do it. The Dafar Rebellion has won! Ha ha! Revolutionary victory in Oman. The Omani Civil War has come to an end today with the victory of Leila Fakaro's revolutionaries. One of many nations affected by the wave of instability gripping the region, Oman experienced a coup d'etat orchestrated by Kabus, the son of Sultan Said bin Taimur, in cooperation with the Italian garrison. The uncertainty created by the boo produced a power vacuum which was soon filled by Saudi-backed traditionalists and a coalition of pan-Arab revolutionaries. Uh, Leila Fakro's uh, revolutionaries aimed to turn Oman into a stronghold of pan-Arabianism uh, in the southern Arab Peninsula, a goal that threatens both Saudi and Italian interests in the region. Leila Rome nor Riyadh could be reached for comments. <laughs> Layla, you got me on my knees. Layla, begging, darling, please. Layla, darling, won't you ease my worried mind? Yeah. Uh, she actually only died. Oh my God, 2006 was 15 years ago. I was gonna say recently. Uh. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the mix, so we keep track of it. America's looking at these successful revolutions and sweating. Uh, Bennett's too busy dealing with silver or whatever. He doesn't even know what's going on. Successful Arab Spring. <sighs> What's the thing that's going to increase our max factories in the state? Because we're going to need that in a minute. Yeah, right here. Menace of the dumpster fire the United Arab Republic is going to be with these numerous ideologies that it has. Oh, man. Freaking, uh, oh. What the hell? Yeah, you guys are right. Goering sent help. Is it Goering who's in charge? I forgot, actually. Or no, Borman. Yeah, Borman is sent help to the, uh, to the Arabian Republic. And they sent tanks, not infantry. That's why they're so far ahead of me. Or killed this guy. But fine, they're all gonna brace Ordo Socialism. Radical, centrist, Ordo Socialism. It's great. Only Syria existed. So, so, can, can the United Arab Republic be formed, or what? Uh, this, wow, this synth song, it sounds like that, that, uh, Bo Burnham bit about, uh, Jeff Bezos, you know, CEO entrepreneur born in 1964, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Why would that song have cyberpunk similarities? No way of knowing. Salazar's victory in Portugal. The, the the Sturians, why can't I send help? Oh, uh, why can we not help them? I want to get involved. I guess because there's nothing that lets us get involved in Europe, technically. That would have been fun. I'm happy with how many people we've got watching this stream. Thank you very much, everybody. If you could drop a like, that would be awesome. Help the flanges. I can't help anybody. I already checked them all. I can't help any anybody involved in the wars. Asturias has the funny man's help. Who's the funny man? What does that mean? 
I think we're gonna start making um, nuclear reactors here. Pan-Earthist socialist with Russian characteristics. Asturias is filled with Burgundian spies and equipment. Oh, I get it now. The Burgundy funny man. It's hard to keep track of which funny people you're talking about. There's so many funnies in the game. Yeah. Alright, so we're finally done with all this. Uh, let's start doing these things. Germany sees Merturius and Reunion. How's it going here in the east? It looks like Soblin's got a slight advantage, but mostly it just looks like a grindy stalemate. The Arabian Republic has won! Yemeni victory in Arabia! Fighting in Arabia has come to an end today with the surrender of the last Saudi troops to the Yemeni Democratic Arab Republic. Despite wielding a significant advantage in terms of equipment and resources, the Saudi Royal Army found itself suffering defeat after defeat to Yemeni forces. From the holy city of Mecca, President Abdul al Salal has since declared the formation of the Arabian Republic, a first step towards the formation of a pan-Arabian state. Uh... Military observers credit the unexpected victory to the many institutional issues within the Saudi military, with the nation's monarch reportedly having fled overseas. Now controlling both the holy cities of Mecca and Medina and the vast oil reserves along the Persian Gulf, observers have hailed the Yemeni victory as the true beginnings of a pan-Arab state. But what about the oil? He's right. It's a resource we can't afford to lose. Entrepreneur born in 19... I just got this shit stuck in my head now. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey, you did it! <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed that special. I've been a fan of Bo Burnham for a very long time, since his YouTube days. The ancient myths of time. Uh... Uh, and uh, and his 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 special inside was part of one of the reasons why I like decided to get off my ass and start doing Legend of the Galactic Heroes reviews and analysis again. In fact, uh, like I was saying, what I want to do today is I want to get working on episode seven. But also, after I'm done with episode seven, I think I'm going to go back and redo the first five episodes of review because some of those are only a few minutes long. Israel's in an awkward spot. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so we're just working hard. Seraph's just working hard. That's all it is. Um, Army professionalism can keep improving. Uh, need to finish the purges. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. Social stream. Yeah, welcome to the internet. Now, welcome to the internet has been blowing up on YouTube. Uh, it's got like 10 million views, I think I saw last week. It's probably got more now. Uh -huh. Okay, so in a couple of months we'll hit 100% theoretical development and then we can go to the advanced development phase. Uh, but there was a lot of good ones on his inside special. I don't know if I would call it my favorite yet. I might have to watch it again to really determine that. Um, but his last two have been very good. How's this on? Uh, but what was I going to say? I don't know. Israel's authoritarian democracy, just like the Arab Republic. Maybe they'll all unite into a united pan-Arabic Jewish republic, huh? The internet finally has its national anthem. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's it's a very it's very good. Take everything on the menu. Purges seem radical, not very centrist. Then again, it might just be out of touch. <laughs> With the meat. Oh, you like uh, you like Begin's portrait? 
over here in Israel. Yeah, it's it's very very pretty. Um, she has yellow eyes. Is she a Sith Lord? All right. Um, we got preemptive security here. Look at our GDP. It's through the roof. Um, we're gonna go with the magnificent Red Army, so we can get our army professionalism up. What is Sablin's portrait? I don't know. I think it's from one of those uh, animes where the, the 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 battleships are women. Uh, I think it's from one of those, but I'm not totally sure. Oh, you know what? I can look it up on my Russian unification video. Um, give me a second. What's that? Yeah, here we go. Uh, the Moe Order Russian Unification. Okay, so... Um... It's somebody called Ganglut from the Ka Kantai Collection. Which is because it's a because she's a she's a Gangut class battleship. So there you have it. Born in 1964. Yeah, three different days. Got the internet national anthem. That's so true. But he's got a lot of good songs on there. Funny feelings, very good. Um. What else was real good? Uh, I liked content. The song content's what really made me get going, you know? Ugh, I'm getting recommended extra credit videos. I don't like that channel. I haven't watched it in years. Uh, let's uh, say I'm not interested on that. Thank you very much. Um. She's a wordplay counterpart to Yagoda, who's getting it from Azur Lane, a rival league ship girl series. Yeah, because there's more than one. Right, right, right. I want to see Moe Peron. Which one? There's multiple Perons. But all are Peron, he's small, and that's what matters. All right, Magnificent Red Army finished. Uh, I guess let's get doing these final, actually no, let's get the preemptive security. Secret police see all in the darkest nights on the coldest days. H.A. reports to Seraph. None ever stop watching. However, these disappearances are so well executed. Most do not know of the massive boot over their heads, ready to stamp out enemies of the state. Okay, let's kind of uh, organize everybody here. <laughs> oh, in my head. And the song is playing in my head. The war generally stagnates with nobody winning. I think it's hit that point. I think it has just stagnated. Not a whole lot happened. Oh, shoot! I forgot that we were going to go to war with Kazakhstan! Fuck! Okay, you know what? We're being nice and we're giving them a head start. We gave them a free shot. Fuck me. Hold on. It's just the kind of nice guy I am. Let's go with the organization, maybe? X. Yeah. Or, no, no, no. Char charismatic. There we go. Okay. Um, there we go. Actually building, we, it looks like we have a decent amount of uh, planes getting ready to go here. Well, maybe not. Close this out. That one training, okay. Yeah, surprise! It's Kazakhstan! <laughs>
Let's see, best reunification war I saw in Russian TNO when I was playing as Germany, and the last reunification war was between Zidanov and authoritarian socialist Sablin, but neither side won. Oh, they just kept grinding it out until you finally won? Alright, stamping on the face, speaking of which. We have continued our campaign in the administered territories with commendable efficiency. Initial incidents where soldiers tried to disobey orders, defending targets from state intervention, or even outright assaulting superiors have been reduced by almost 70%. I can attribute this to intensified internal re-education and liquidation campaigns, as well as a general trend I refer to here as desensitization. I will explain below. The onerous requirements of a revolution are born with increasing ease as the soldier becomes used to the solemnity of his work. He begins to see the national citizen in their proper place as tools to be used and destroyed for our greater glory. I believe this trend accounts for accelerating individual compliance with personal corrective orders as well. We have received increasing numbers of domestic surveillance reports attached in addendum 4.2-.a, or a sample of these reports. Extraction operations continue as usual with the intended effects. Nothing need to be said about them that has not already been said, nor does their continuation raise alarms in the public. In fact, I have not heard a single citizen talk of these events. We can surmise that the work of indoctrination is going so well that the need for discourse on this initially controversial policy measure can now be eliminated altogether. Even so, we have received reports that the disposal methods could stand to be improved. Attached are some rudimentary suggestions to maximize these disposals in a... Uh, safe, discreet, and healthy manner. Note, for some of these proposals, we will need industrial construction equipment. The work is routine, but necessary. Hello there, Costas. Um, let us... Hmm, what do we want to do here? Whipping Russia into shape. Where well, is a whip! There's a way! Uh, a job left unfitted. Bukharin was a coward. He failed to cleanse the military of anti-revolutionary elements. Well, we won't fall for that. Yeah, how are we doing, fellow Ordo socialists? Are we all doing good? Okay, well, you know, since I spilled my water before, <laughs> right at the start of the stream, I need to go get some more. I'll be right back. By the way, um, for those of you who uh, like to keep up to date on the El Paso weather report, uh, it rained all night yesterday. Well, because like, do you remember when I was streaming yesterday and I said how I got caught in this really bad rain and hail while I was working? Well, it, ah! it ended up crossing over the mountains and it hit where I live, and so it was raining all night, and um, so I ended up. Yeah, like the temperature has significantly dropped in El Paso, so it was like, you know, at least 103 every day, but you know what the high today is gonna be? 76. The sudden change in temperature has kind of been messing with me, so like I've, I've been feeling itchy. I'll figure get some chewing ASMR. But. I am not going outside today. El Pasoans don't know a damn thing about being in the rain. Hmm. Flexible automation, yeah. Hmm. See, I'm just having some salad. 
doing some salad and we have some beans and a potato. There's nobody out here. <laughs> These Kazakhstan wars are always such a fucking route. I work on the beach in Florida and we aren't allowed to leave until the rain actually starts, basically, so I can relate to being caught in shitty storms at work. Ah. Yeah, and you know what, that was, was really sucks because El Paso doesn't have very good drainage because we're not used to rain. So I was, um... Oh, hey, where'd all my manpower go? There it is. Um, so it took me like 10 minutes just to get to out of the, the like the one block or a couple of square blocks away from my work because Because like there was definitely areas where I was seeing and I was going. Oh my car will for sure flood going through there Because I've seen it. I've seen it a lot. I used to work at this one power plant uh, In a section of town where that was at a lower elevation and it never failed whenever it would rain I, I would I would look out onto the street and people would try to make it and they'd flood their cars their cars would float hmm. yeah let's go with this way there's a whip there's a way after a storm you can literally see um, steam rising from puzzles uh, um Oh yeah, which uh, which uh, I was I was gonna say uh, about uh, when I was at work. So so I was driving the LLV. That's the the mail trucks, basically the mail vans. And I was uh, and it's this heavy rain going down. And I'm driving through these puddles, and then I felt splashing of water on my leg. And I thought, did I leave the window open? But I looked to my right, the window's closed. When I looked down, the water was coming in through the bottom of the door. Went <laughs> oh fuck. Hmm. We've killed 38,000 Kazakhstani. I've done worse in the past. I could have done better here. But it's because I just... Sometimes you just need to let those war arrows go, man. Yeah, this is the same album as yesterday. This is the final track. It's called Judgment Day. Yeah, it's a it's a mix called Oblivion by uh, White Bat Audio is the uh, name of the channel, and it's royalty free. I've got them credited in the description if you want to follow a link to the playlist. That'll do it. The sweetest flower that ever grew is withered to the stalk. Oh yeah, getting to be a big boy. Mm, we don't quite have enough political power to do all of these at once. Let's wait a little bit. We need 175 political power total. We're not raking it in like we used to. Build some more aircrafts. Uh, tactical bombers, maybe? I don't know. Something. Eat the salad, too. Mm. Alright, back to the beginning. Up the mix. CEO and entrepreneur, born in 1964, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Just enough there. Mm. Yeah, we just might be able to finish this up today. I'd really like that. Mm. 
Since you're starting a history channel soon, what do you find the most annoying trend in YouTube history channels? Um, well, you know, I don't, I don't watch as much history channels as I would like because I'm usually making my own content. But uh, for years, my number one pet peeve has been uh, if as long as you have a, um, if you got a British accent, everything you're saying is true and smart. That seems to be what people think. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's whip into shape. Where there's a whip, there's a way. Guys, we finally got the better research facilities. Took long enough. Okay, uh, let's build a reactor here, and one here, and what else? Here. Mm hmm. Can I peacefully unite with the East, or are they the wrong kind of communists? I don't know. But I think the war is going to still keep going. Okay, a few more days and we can do all this. Every other ideology in Russia hates Serov, so I imagine no. Tisk tisk. Yeah, so right now we are at 10% consumer good factories. So once we whip Russia into shape, we'll be at zero. And that's with us being at total mobilization, which actually adds consumer good factories in this mod. But man, they just hate us because they ain't us. All these integrations I've been doing in my stability is still awesome. It's great. All right, salad's done. Time for some beans and a potato. Half a potato. The Brits have been places. They know a thing or two because they've seen a thing or two. Yeah. <laughs> the most and least wholesome socialists probably won't unite by the laws of Reddit. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh yeah, well, like, there's that one channel, History Buffs. History games calling out history buffs epic YouTube drama now. Um, but he freaking what are you serious? Okay, we're dealing with like some kind of resistance. Um, hold on. so that guy he does he does reviews of historical movies and he's just screaming and saying dumb shit all the time, it seems to me anyway. But he's got a British accent, so he's schmock. Um, um, as opposed to like Anton Shea, Anton Shea films, he's very smart. He's got very good analysis. He has he has historical and filmmaking background. His channel is a million times better for if you want to see content about historically based films. But he's got I think maybe a hundred and fifty thousand subscribers. Definitely less than ten percent. The British are really good at drawing straight lines on maps. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'll be right back. I didn't warm up these beans. his um i saw that anton shea I, I don't remember which one of you were suggesting it but i saw his his video he did the 1950s man detective or whatever it was called it was pretty funny but i was going into the comments and apparently he was calling out a bunch of leftists on youtube it like in the context of it like he was making fun of them um See, I appreciate the shade he threw during the civil war vids oh his civil war anton shea his civil war stuff is very good um, yeah, the first video of his I ever saw was his, um, 
Gods and Generals is neo-confederate uh, propaganda and why it objectively sucks. Which obviously was a little bit of a clickbait title and I think he even says it at some point during the video because it's like, how is film objective? But I, I like Gods and Generals. I've seen it many times, but he's definitely right about a lot of the arguments he made. And I can appreciate that. I can respect that. People who, who have different opinions than me, um, but if they argue well, I don't have an issue with it. That, that's like, okay, like to, to use a non-political example, there's this guy on YouTube who, uh, he does wrestling content, um, and he mostly used to do New Japan Pro Wrestling, but he's done more, but he was the only person I've ever seen besides myself who, like, appreciates this one wrestler called Jay White. Uh, he's a, he's a, he's a Kiwi, but he, uh, he wrestles in Japan. The guy is, he's so brilliant in the way he structures his matches. Um, he's completely changing the game. Um, two assault rifles. Hold on a sec, those beans are raining now. I just have to warm them up a little bit. Um, yeah, so he's the only person who I've ever seen besides myself who agrees about Jay White. But even though I agree with him on that, um, uh, he, uh, he, I also disagree with him on other things. Like, he's very critical of, uh, of Okada, who's, like, I think the greatest Japanese wrestler pretty much ever, or pretty damn close to it anyway. Um, but... But he argues very well, and so I respect him. Uh, the propaganda campaign was successful. The Red Army might even get a commission bonus. It'll be a speech of iron and fire. Okay, socialism in one country. We actually don't need this right now. Probably should do this other stuff first. But yeah, let's just fucking do it. Whatever. Um, internationalism. That fantasy is both unrealistic and dangerous. Russia is a land rich in resources and home to a hearty people. We are fully capable. Oh, Iran star, Iran war, Iraq war, Iraq war, Iraq war. Okay. How many volunteers can we send to? Let's go. Let's freaking go. Uh. <laughs> So anyway, socialism in one country, which we're about to contradict. We're fully capable of aiding the motherland's potential without foreign aid. While some preach for a world revolution, they do not understand other nations are unable to comprehend socialism. It is simply not in their genes. Russians can only count on ourselves, and it will be Russians that lead the glorious national revolution. Hmm. Bahatov's Russia. <laughs> Iraq collapses into civil war. Whoever the winner of this new round of conflict, it seems likely it will not be the Iraqi people. Haven't we? Yeah. The Iraqi wing of the pan-Arab Ba'ath um, party leads the insurrection against the Italian-led emergency government. Very nice. Hey, there's Syria! Syria finally popped out! There it is! There it is, boys and girls! The oil crisis has erupted. Nothing good can come of this. People do not want words. They want the sound of battle. The battle of destiny. This kind of sounds like that Dire Straits song a little bit. You know, the money for nothing and chicks for free. Dun, 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 dun. Not this part, of course, but... Black gold, red sand. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, 
back to the cyberpunk. Too bad George Habash is not here to enjoy this. If only Care Chase was here. Whoops, shouldn't make that joke. Hmm. Well, I'm just finishing up these beans. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. We're just waiting for our volunteers to show up now. Oh, the Republic of Iraq just beat the Iraqi Republic. And our volunteers are here. Let's go! We gotta go take Mosul quickly. It's a major city. Very important. Oh, the Asturians aren't doing too hot, are they? Wow, the Spanish Republic's gonna win! go slicing like a hammer the seraph stands with the communists or the fascists does he support a class revolution or a national revolution the answer is of course both but the proletariat does not know whether our great leader truly believes in his rhetoric they will learn and we got supply problems again Nice overrun right there. All right, Kurds are already about to fall. Very good. Finally, no more stupid Franco. Yeah, he just always wins anyway. That's why I've gotten so bored with that war. He, it's just, it doesn't matter if it's a 10 way war, if it's the same person who wins every time. But yeah, nice change of pace. Mm. I'm a lot of signal company research bonuses. Did I put them in here, by the way? Yeah, why is the military police in there? That's stupid. Uh, we'll put that in there and. I take the field hospitals out. Yeah, let's take these out and place them with maintenance companies. Yeah, so like this, make that a signal company, make this a maintenance company. There we go, very good. What am I gonna do in TNO after Seroff? Uh, I'm probably gonna do a poll, but I'll either do another Russian reunification or a Brazil unification. It's gonna depend on what people vote. Because I'm going to vote, I'm going to ask people, do they want to see me do a, a Moe Order campaign or a New Order campaign? And if it's Moe Order, we'll do South America. If it's uh, Regular Order, we're going to do, um, we're going to do, actually, we don't need another military factory. Civilian factory is actually better now. Uh, we'll do, uh, if it's Regular Order, we're going to do a Russian Unification. That's it. It's just uh, it's just regular Iraq here. You have under Vito Miselli. Hammer, sickle, wheat, chaff. Oh, conspiracies are happening in Japan. Okay, General Secretary Seroff paced around the room. Her historical materialist research had ground to a halt for the second time in two days. Uh, what was wrong with her? Was there something she'd failed to consider, some untouched piece of demographic theory that had eluded her? Her volume of materialistic analysis had brought together some of the most complete socialist research studies the nation had ever completed, and yet something was missing. Her estimates of industrial progress for Russia were a key part of his, her unpublished Ordo-Socialist thesis. 
But compiling a working theory for Soviet industry was proving difficult. There was something almost malevolent to the way the, the Kolkhoz system had plunged in the 30s and 40s. Almost like an external force gently shoved its boot into the soil, leeching it of nutrients and vitality. A cancer grafted into the Russian workers. But who could it be, and for what purpose? Musing, her eyes wandered to the dustiest corner of her history book collection. A History of the Russian Far East, 1895 to 1940. She'd scoured the demographic history of the Union in virtually every other area. Perhaps the land beyond the Amur would provide some insight. She took its hefty weight, checked the spine for defects, and began to read. Yeah, you know, I've been reading a lot of The Iron Kingdom, this Prussian history book, but it's so fucking big. Yeah, but it's a paperback. So I've been trying to slowly stretch it so that the spine doesn't break. I'm afraid of happening. Um, anyway, evenings turned to dawn. Sarah put her book down, her eyes wide and unblinking. She'd uncovered a conspiracy vast in scale, a conspiracy to infiltrate the corners of the Union with rootless people, and went all the way to the top. Yes, she had the answer for her agricultural and industrial malaise. It had been staring her in the face this whole time. Now it was time to warn the rest of Russia's workers and to pray she had not been too late. Then the very next week, posters bearing Asiatic figures appeared on every city of every district of the Republic. Be on guard! Be on guard for Korean parasites, workers. The Koryosarama menace must be destroyed. Another blow for crypto-capitalist internationalism. Ah, so this is the infamous Koreans uh, event that you guys have been hyping up for so long. Now we know. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can I still influence things in Central Asia? Oh, apparently. So you can boost the socialism in it. I don't know if we can eventually then absorb it or not. Probably not. Oh, yeah. A whole lot of manpower. Democratic victory in Spain. Wow. Paradias has won. I'm gonna seize. <laughs> Woo! Oh man, I felt that one in my guts. Oh no, here, here we go. This is it, the Republic. My bad. Uh, there's a guerrilla campaign to beat. Interesting. Why does anime Marx kind of look like Mario? Because Marxio. Duh. Mario was a plumber, wasn't he? That means he was a worker. A fellow comrade. Whew. So, what's going on in Iraq? We're almost there. Independent Basque country of uh, poggers. I saw a really interesting uh, horror movie um, last fall, and it was called Edimentari. It was a, a Basque horror film because Edimentari is apparently how they say uh, blacksmith in um, in Basque. Uh, and so it takes place after uh, one of the one of the Carlist wars, and. Um, the kind of there's two main characters, but one of them, the the blacksmith himself, was a uh, man who went off to fight the war, but he sold his soul to a demon uh, in order to be given the power to return. So like he couldn't die during the war, so he can get back home safely to his wife. It's really interesting. Commentary uh, Edimentari. Okay, so cool. One of you, at least one of you, have seen it. Yeah. D definitely unique concept, um, and I liked the direction the plot went. Uh, it was very cool, very different. Uh, people of Russia, I fight for you. I fight for the ultimate good and the reclamation of the West. The goal is not death nor glory, but for a truly Russian socialist utopia. Join me! As the great Karl Marx said, revolution is poggers. And we have won! Ba'athist victory in Iraq. That is some shockingly purple hair.
In a proud announcement earlier today, the new Iraqi president, Ahmed Hassan al-Bakar, has declared a final Ba'athist victory, or Ba'athist, excuse me, I think it's pronounced Ba'athist, victory um, in the country's grueling civil war. Iraq, a persistent holdout of Arab nationalist and Ba'athist thought for the past two decades, has harbored one of the largest and most influential branches of Michel Aflaq's Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party. Excuse me. And remains a key asset in the march towards a unified Arab state. Declaring his utmost dedication to the anti-colonialist struggle, Al-Bakar's regime is likely to pursue a staunchly nationalistic line against Italian influence in the region, hoping to act as a bastion of Arab nationalism against the tide of colonial oppression. Many spectators in Iraq and abroad have noted the numerous authoritarian stances the Ba'athist Party has assumed in its struggle toward the presidency and few have high hopes for minority rights in the now decidedly Arab nation. Nonetheless, the Ba'athists continue to espouse their ideals of democracy and socialism. Only time will tell if they should uh, ever be realized. Let us wait and hope for the best. Hmm. Funny mustache man from Iraq. Oh, we already beat him. He was in charge of, uh, he was either the Republic of Iraq or the Iraqi Republic was one of them. Uh, yeah. BTS means blown to shit set off. Yeah, well, very deep, very deep. Uh, let's do some infrastructure here and here. Oh, hold on. All right, how is the, um... How's this going? Overall progress is minus 7% of month. Yeah, it's kind of slowed down here. Um, K-pop is a major contender of Soviet wave. Yeah. If Serov's racist, how come his best friend's Iraqi? Yeah, let's take a look at the ideological map here. The ideology map. So, we've helped... We've helped people of di certainly different um, stripes, so to speak, because like up here the Ba'athists are fascists, up here they're national socialists, but yeah, we have Sudan, Egypt, the Arabian Republic, Dofar, and uh, Ba'athist Iraq, all of which we've helped. Can Syria blow up or anything? Help us out. Why is the Italian Empire pink? Because they're socially democratic, duh. Ever heard the term pinkos? Yeah, Hachima Chima. Harold Holt Hatal Hachima. Down in Australia. Yeah, is that a ledger? <whistles> Alright, volunteers are back home. Bring the boys back home. Don't leave the children alone. Bring the boys back home. Yeah, Spanish Republic seems okay with Catalonia, Basque, and Galatians uh, breaking off from them. Hmm. All right, finally the new marks. Now we'll have to wait a couple of months for the other thing. Um. Uh, word has begun on the street of a new great socialist leader, one to triumph even Bukharin and Lenin. His name is Ivan Serov. He has become the new Karl Marx. His ideas will shape the world for centuries to come. Already, Serov makes proud speeches on this compliment. How may what be humble when she has reached this stature? Um, how can a revolutionary philosopher not preach his philo her philosophy of liberation, of nationalism? And so we're going to get a 15% political power gain, which is pretty nice because I've been, I've been kind of crippling myself in that department for a while. Mm-hmm. What is this? Macau is, uh... Zujin. Born, Zujin culture born from the intermingling of Cantonese and Japanese culture. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Nice attention to detail. I really like this. There I am. I was like, yeah, I'm the new Marx. Sugoi! 
The triumph of the theorist. Screams echoed off the walls of the cell, and General Secretary Seroff chuckled to himself as the noise reached his ears. The ideological fortification of the Soviet man. Such a beautiful melody, like the sound of heavy machinery in the dawn. The tearing down and rebuilding and tearing down and rebuilding once again of the human spirit, each time approaching the Russian socialist ideal, until at last, all at once, the spirit rose, bloody and free into the air like a hatchling. Seraph took a deep breath. <sighs> she was getting ahead of herself, and the prisoner would no doubt need a little counseling after her revolutionary criticism. Pacifists were dangerous degenerates, weakening the Russian working class with their existence. Uh, but they too deserved leniency. In any case, Serov would need to fill up the paperwork for this one's transition to a full-blown laborer. Time to tidy up after herself. She gathered her notes, dense with self-references and diagrams, but at the same time marvelous in their simplicity. Where Lenin and Bukharin had built an imperfect mirror, she was constructing a crystal chandelier. Its light came from within, its beauty the perfect strength and unity of its workers, an end to the class warfare and petty materialism of the past, an end to the fall socialism and the factional squabbles, only the iron will of the party and the workers' front, driving Russia ever onwards towards the future. Serov saw it now, the platonic brilliance of her nation, elegant as the spheres of the cosmos. All that was necessary would be to write it down, yes, to add a little onto her notes. Perfection upon perfection, Seraph ducked her head and began to write as another scream rent the evening air. The poor little prisoner would have to wait for a little longer. The nation, after all, was bigger than the interests of a single man. Yes, I read theory. How could you tell? Can't wait to for Twitter to find that comment down the line. Which one? What, whereas Lenin and Bukharin have built an imperfect uh, mirror, they're constructing a crystal set in your ear, or which, which line? Which line? Well, that's it, we're all caught up now. Let's realize the 400 million statistic is pre-Great Asian War. Where's the next song? Okay. Oh yeah, I could put these infantry back in. You know what I should have been doing is, uh, oh cool, we're done finishing the purges. Great! Russia is now clean. Uh, let's see here. Goodness gracious, we can make quite a few more divisions. How short am I going to be? I'll be actually a few thousand short on the uh, military. It takes 487 days. That's fine. we got a lot of production that we've got way too much of. We can move this around. Okay, I really don't need all this. Um, there we go, and just like that, it's now going to only take us 339 days. Yeah, that's because the production efficiency cap's not there, although I think we also need to trade. Yeah, what a nasty war out there. It just doesn't end.
prop up the regime here. Oh, advanced development phase. We can get that started. Yep, do all this. Very good. Might as well just join the o it's an Italy sphere of influence experience an epic collapse. They might as well join the OFN at this point. Majority culture in Libyan is Neapolitan. Really? Southern Italian. Oh no, I guess at least on the coast, or right here. Culture is Southern Italian. Wow. Over here it's still Tunisian. Tripoli is Southern Italian. Seraph can save them from such a war by taking it all over himself. Yep, that's the idea. Uh, let's see here. So we need to split this. Wait, whoops. Take these tanks out. I meant to do this before. Come on. Ah, stop it! There we go. So that puts me at five. Hmm. I don't need that many. There we go. Uh, let's get another reactor being made. Uh, we still have some free civilian factories, it would appear. Yeah, we are at 0% consumer good factories, but for some reason we still have one thing being built, I guess. The reactor there. Okay. When's the glorious unification war going to start? In about six weeks. Uh, oh... Red Flood is a dark humor mod more than anything. Sure, I can see that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll be at it before you know it. Um, but I wanted to see. Let's see, we got twenty four here. Move those two there, move these here. Okay, I wanna see if I can maybe get a little bit more out. We need to we need to make another commander. Okay. Okay, check this out. So you're the field marshal there, and then um, for our tanks, we want Planning speed gets reduced, whatever. Or actually, should I do our assault specialist? Yeah, Vladimir. Vladimir, you move, move over here, and then uh, can we maybe crank out another 24 of these? Nope, we don't have the manpower. Whatever, it's fine. Um, One, two, three, four, five. Delete that. Okay. Wait, did I miscount something? Son of a bitch, I did. Uh, yeah, I miscounted. Whoops. Still, we got quite a lot here. Still, uh, so can we? No, we can't quite get there. That's not. It's not. It's too little. This is an infantry leader, believe it or not. Um, so, leave that order there. Now they're gonna be all here, like that. This I want one of you here. Do that. And the other one, you're gonna come down here. Like so. And we'll change that once the actual war begins. Hmm. 
oh shoot it's the uh, free civilian factories uh our infrastructure is very good so i'm happy about that about a month to go until that war begins oh shoot i just realized we've been going over two hours but, you know we're so close to the end here let's just go for it is that okay with everybody anyone got a problem with that we can just wrap this up today Okay. We'll see who Italy's new daddy is gonna be. <laughs> but we gotta hope that the, the game kinda picks it up a little. Italy has required nuclear weaponry. And who'd you say is not a world power anymore? How does this look? Libraries are closed on Sundays and Mondays, so I don't mind. Yeah, I find that interesting how museums, like in particular, they always tend to be closed on Mondays. Like, we work enough, we gotta work here on the weekend, where everyone else gets the weekend off, so we're gonna take Mondays off. Italy doesn't look healthy with so much despotic popularity. And of course, I'll still stream tonight. Tonight we might do some, uh... We'll probably do some Fire Emblem. Oh, oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh yeah, still need a, another commander. There we go. Oh, let's hire a new one for you. Drago Medev. Uh, the, the three of these don't have faces, but they do have generals, trust me. Now this is gonna be a ravaging, plain and simple. Three more days and we can start. Your audience seems to hate Fire Emblem. Yeah, but I'm enjoying it, so might as well play through it. I guess the good news, in quotation marks, is it's probably the longest game I'll ever play on the channel. I don't really play JRPGs much, but yeah, it's so fucking long. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to play Fire Emblem tonight, though. That's right, because I've noticed the people who who watch Fire Emblem, they'll watch it no matter the time, pretty much. Or, you know, they'll catch it later. So I probably should play things that are more popular in the evening. Grand Showdown. Uh-oh. Don't you crash on me! It's just it's auto-saving. Oh! It's gamer hours in Japan! Strange news from Tokyo. The devil of Showa rises from hell. The way of the warrior is to be found in dying. It really makes you think. <laughs> Real gamer hours. They make you think. Uh, okay. So, get the flame, the flame and buffers. Seraph is a communist with cringe characteristics. Yes, I saw it the first time, Guzman. Trying to, trying to. Try to trigger me epic style or something. Ishii is dummy mommy step on us. Oh, gosh. oh man. What would you all do if you know you were in a relationship? Maybe you've even already had sex a couple of times, and they said, because you know, let, let's see if you guys can put your money where your mouth is. And they said, uh, you know, obviously, daddy for the boys, mommy for the girls. Um, if, you know, they said, yeah, I want you while, you know, during our, our little, our little sex tonight, um, I want you to step on me and, uh, I'm going to call you mommy or I'm going to call you daddy. Are you down with that? You're, huh? And again, I just realized it's kind of a stupid question because I'm asking the people who want to be stepped on if they can be the dominant ones. That's not going to work. I guess that was a dumb question. Kishi's a Sith Lord. A Sith Lord? 
Man. Can we talk about the revisionism that's been going on with the Star Wars prequels? Everybody wants to act like they're fucking brilliant uh, these days. Uh, just because they don't like the sequels. They just say, oh, the prequels were actually masterpieces and we need to get uh, George Lucas back in charge of Star Wars. He was a visionary. Let's see, 10 Bravification says, I don't like power differences between partners, even fake ones. It's a good attitude to have. I respect it. And then, and then right underneath, Kipsy's going, Yeah, step on me! Let's fucking go! <laughs> the real question is, would you piss on somebody? Oh my gosh. Okay. So, here's a funny story. Uh, I remember, I'm like, oh no, here he goes. Um, so I remember once uh, I was... You know what? I can actually record this with the emergency reserves we're about to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. This and have them go there. Okay. So, um, funny fish man was funny to you. Uh, but but yeah. Anyways, anyway, so here's the story. I was once online and people were talking about Konosuba. Uh, and the subject of La Latina came up, and La Latina is uh, darkness, um, the, the, the masochist, uh, not the masochist, or yeah, the masochist, the masochist uh, Konosuba um, one. Uh, uh, she, so she's like really into kinky stuff, and an argument broke out because people were going like, oh no, darkness is all talk, she's not actually kinky at all. Like she wants to be humiliated and dominated and whatever, but she wouldn't actually be into it. And then, and so people were saying, like, there's, there's some people who are just going, um, yeah, it's like, no, nah, she's all talk, no action. And, and then, so then somebody over the course of the, uh, the argument, uh, posted a, uh, their results from like a BDSM quiz. Uh, so it said like, okay, you know, you are this percent dominant in your personality, this percent submissive, uh, this percent into... Um, fuck, I wish I could remember all the stuff. Uh, this, this percent into, like, being treated as a slave. This percent into being, um, humiliated. It's kind of like, I remember I once saw a pretty damn good political quiz. Not one of those political compass ones. It was, like, an actually good one. And it had percentages, like, you know, you're this percent third way. This percent classical liberalism. This percent social conservatism and whatnot. Um, so... So, so anyway, and people were like, where did you get those numbers? And the guy goes, or maybe it was a girl. It's like, yeah, there's like a website. You can take this quiz. So he, the person posts the link to the quiz, and I decide, I'm going to take this quiz. What, what, what percentage of, of different parts of BDSM am I? So it, it was actually a really fucking long um, quiz. And uh, so I'm, I'm taking it. It was asking questions like, and, and it would it would have like a scale, you know, like do you mostly disagree? Do you super agree? Are you neutral? Are you a little one way or the other? And it was going, um, like, do you prefer to cook for your partner or um, or to be cooked for, and things like that? Or it's like, uh, do you you know you know just like little little different questions like that? And so it's like they're all romantically related questions, I suppose, and. Um, and so I t and so I'm clicking along, and then I hit like the fourth page, and then the and then the first question on the fourth page is, "Do you enjoy being urinated on?" And I'm just sitting by myself at my computer, and I just I, I literally do this. <sighs> I got lost on the internet again, <laughs> just to myself. I, how did I get here? Because those moments happen to me sometimes, you know, you're just, you're just on the internet, you're following links, and then you, you, you end up somewhere and you just go, why am I here? How did this happen? <laughs> he was asking me questions about how I feel about gardening and cooking, and then, do I want to be pissed on? And I what the fuck? <laughs> Incidentally, my personal beliefs are, uh, as, as Shawn Michaels once said, um, uh, better to be pissed off than pissed on. <laughs> anyway, um, 
As the internet ages, kinks will become weirder as people become desensitized to the last controversial kink. Well, a lot of this stuff's been around forever. Every generation thinks it's invented sex. That's just the way it goes. Are we going to upgrade any more of our societal elements? Mm, I don't think we're going to get that poverty rate up one more time, unfortunately. Also, uh, let's promote uh, this stuff down in Central Asia, because I just got tons of political power these days. Better to encounter that question online and not in real life. It's like when you fall asleep watching Linus Tech Tips, then you wake up to a video about Nazi spacemen from the moon building pyramids. Yeah. The actual political compass quiz has major lib, uh, lib left bias. It doesn't account for non-capitalist socialist ideologies like Georgia's and mutualism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Previous generations didn't have hentai. Hentai's been around since at least the 1800s. If we're talking about the tentacle stuff that people associate with hentai. Let's see here. Uh, but where's that political quiz? Somebody brought it up. It's called Right Values, Left Values is the name of the quiz. All right, hold on. Let me look that up. Right Values, Left Values. Yeah, because I just remember I once took a political quiz, because I've taken a lot of those. Um, oh, wait, no, there's, a, there's two different websites. No, 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 I just remember once, and it was years ago, I actually found a really good political quiz that broke things down seriously because I, at the end it would show you okay like you you're because it, it, it had all these different ideologies it, it, it wouldn't just be like you're a, a republican or a democrat or a ooh, green party um so yeah like sean said you're trying to physically map political beliefs it's flawed it wasn't like that it just would have all these things so it might say oh you are like uh uh 25 percent in alignment with uh romanian integralism or something uh and it was and like every section would have a really big essay accompanying it and i was just reading it for a really long time political sextant quiz was that it maybe i don't know because i've seen some that are similar but like it's just it's like like me i'm not somebody who goes searching you know i'm not i'm not somebody who spends his days jerking off like the horny masses uh, but, you know, but I've heard about people who are like, you know, they go, oh, my quest to find the, 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 my one golden porn I watched 10 years ago. This looks pretty similar. You guys might be right. It might be this political sextant one. I'm going to check this out on my own time sometime. I would do a stream of it, but I'd probably just end up lying so you guys are, uh, you know, get confused. Yeah, fusionism, geolibertarianism. Iron Guard, Integral Nationalism. Yeah, I think this is it. Wow, thank you guys. I'm gonna do this after this stream today. Um, let's see. So, where if I fall back lines? I don't think we need to do that. We're fine. Actually, this we do need to do this because that's gonna be faster. I fucked up. Oh man, it looks like Sablin, he knows the war is coming, so he's pushing hard. But I, I just remember, because because I do have in real life political views, I just don't talk about them on the channel. In fact, I, I always try to keep things secretive on the channel. In fact, sometimes I tell stories even about my personal life. I try to make like one out of every five things I say a lie to keep people guessing. Uh, you know, especially when it comes, even my age, because, you know, keeps people guessing, because, like, wait a second, he says he remembers this, or he re he was this old when this happened, they, that's not adding up. Learned that trick from my dad. Most of the 70s, if my dad's personal chronology is not accounted for. <laughs> the 1970s, I mean. My dad's not 70. <laughs> um... Luzman took the quiz. He says, I'm Libertarian Socialism, 71%. Suggested reading, Libertarian Socialism, Third Way. 75% suggested reading, Third Way, The Renewal of Social Democracy. Individualist Feminism, 75% suggested reading, Reclaiming the Mainstream. THG confirmed Gaslighter. Well, no, I don't think that's what gaslighting is. I think gaslighting is when something happens, but you try to tell the person that it's not happening. What I'm talking about is more... 
maybe changing the date that I graduated high school and stuff. Love being lied to makes for a great connection with the streamer. Hey, at the end of the day, you gotta think of it like I'm a superhero. Uh, you know, gotta keep my identity secret a bit. Yo, yeah, maybe I should do like a geography quiz stream sometime. You know, like, or I have to name all the states in the United States or something. Those could be, that could be a fun little stream to do someday. Maybe I got a lazy Sunday. What do you guys think? Think that'd be fun? Or, uh, what's that website where you got to, uh, do quizzes and, like, somebody's already filled it out and you got to pop in the character names? Let me try to look this up. Hold on. Uh, is it Sporkle? Yeah, Sporkle. Sporkle's got tons of fun stuff. Uh, like, let me look history on Sporkle. So like, there's one called U.S. History Grab Bag. Okay, okay, here. Let me do a pause so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. And let's uh, let's get a save file. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lion Gunner just brought up Sporkle too. Yeah. There we go. How'd you get Libertarian Socialism and Third Way? Well, it's because it's saying that like you know he's got variants on it. But anyway, we're just about to end this game anyway, so let's just kind of come over here. Let's do like a really quick thing for fun. So like this, can you name the facts in this U.S. history grab bag? Okay, so so like intermission while we do this for fun. Uh, so there's like assassinated, president, civil war, blue states. Yeah, cool. So this is like a lot of uh, a lot of little things. Um, So yeah, let's do this for seven minutes. Let's see how I could do. All right, all right. So let's just review the categories. So I've got a list assassinated presidents, states admitted in the 20th century, original cabinet positions in 1789, presidents without a vice president, uh, civil war border states, the five largest cities in 1850, the original 13 states that seceded. For some reason, there's only four of them. So I'm guessing that actually that's really weird. Why is it? Why is there only four original states? I guess you have, I don't know. Uh, are chief justices, meaning surnames, um, presidents who are also twice elected um, uh, VP, years entered a world war, um, and presidents born on July 4th, and 19th century declared wars. That's a that's a key thing to, um, to you know, uh, freaking emphasize. Uh, <laughs> Uh, man, that are Chief Justices. It's two that come to mind. Anyway, let's do this for fun. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Um, all right. We're gonna do this in fun. Let me get a drink of water. Oh. Oh. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, uh, okay, we got Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Uh, James Garf Garfield. And the thing is, you have to get it exactly right. Uh, Civil War border states. Kentucky. Damn it. Kentucky. We had quitters during the American Civil War. Uh, during the American Revolution. We called them Kentuckians. No. Wait. Ch Sets, Massachusetts? No. Uh, okay. Georgia. Oh, that seceded. So meaning seceded into the... Okay, I get it. I get it. it, it th that's why there's not 13 of them. It means seceded into the Confederacy. South Carolina. North Carolina. Um, Virginia. Okay, Ringquest. I might look up uh, spellings. Okay, William Ringquest. William Ringquest. Ringquest, Ringquest. Where's Ringquest? Yeah, just because, cause like, you guys know that I, like, I'm saying who it is. I'm just looking up the spelling because you got to get the spelling right. Okay, Roberts uh, is the current Chief Justice. And then there was, what, Rutledge? Cool. All right, Chief Justice is done. Presidents with no VP. Uh, 
meaning ever? Or, like, cause, cause, could you say, like, Richard Nixon? Because he temporarily didn't have one. Okay, no, try CVP. Um, who we got here? Okay, George H. W. Bush. We're already a third of the way. Fuck. Okay, uh, okay, hold on. Treasury Secretary. Oh, okay, cool. So I just have to do that. Okay, State. Uh, Secretary of State, Secretary of Treasury, War, and, um, uh, State, Treasury, War, and, oh, fuck. I'll come back to that. All right, we entered World War One in 1941, or World War Two in 1941. We entered World War, uh, One in 1917. Uh, let's see, New York City, I think, was a big one. Oh, yeah, there, New York, Philadelphia, no, um... I don't think Washington was that big yet. In New York, Boston? Yeah, okay, New York, Boston. Um, presidents born on July 4th was Calvin Coolidge. Uh, all right, 19th century declared wars. Would it be the Civil War? Yeah, okay, Civil War, uh, Spanish, uh, American War, uh, US, or we're probably gonna have to say Mexican War. Mexican. Um, wait, so is it clipped? What are you clipping? What's getting clipped? Uh, all right, McKinley uh, and Kennedy was also assassinated. Civil War border states already did Kentucky. Um, no, not Arkansas. Freaking. Um, I don't know, no, no, no. Okay, states that were admitted in the 20th century. Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Hawaii, Alaska. Oh, fuck. What's the other one? Wyoming? No, Wyoming took forever. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Presidents with no VP. Gerald Ford. So you can't get too caught up on some of these. You gotta, you gotta move on. Okay, presidents with no VP. Um... Fuck me. Uh, presidents with no VP. President here, I was just saying you can't get caught up. Okay, we got all the 19th century declared wars done. Ah, only two minutes to go! I'm behind the pace! Uh, which presidents who didn't have a VP? Did that mean they never had a VP? Wait, who's the one? Harrison. Harrison's guy. Uh, John Tyler. Yes, okay. They're gonna all be like 19th century ones, I think. Gerald Ford. How is it not Gerald Ford? Fuck. I don't think Truman had a VP. Do I have to put Harry Truman? Harry Truman. No? Wait, fuck. Harry Truman. No. Who didn't have a vice president? Who didn't have a vice president? Johnson! Yeah, 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 because they're... Although, I don't know why the Republicans didn't give him one. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, it's got to have been 19th century ones. Tyler Johnson. Let's see. I already said Tyler. After Tyler was Polk. After Polk was Fillmore. Did Fillmore have a VP? I don't... Millard... Fillmore. Nice! Okay. Fillmore gives way to Pierce, gives way to Buchanan, gives way to Lincoln. Grant had a vice president, I think. <sighs> Fuck, 30 fucking seconds. Ah! Is it Pierce? No, no. Not Franklin Pierce. It has to have been... I already said Andrew Johnson. Wait, yeah, you're next, Chester A. Arthur. There we go. Okay, so states admitted in the 20th century. Oh, shit, I'm out of time, I'm out of time. Um, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska. Uh, hold on. Massachusetts, no, I already tried Massachusetts there. Uh, Woody, Kentucky, it was a Tatana. Oh, jeez, I was going to put Missouri. I only got 75%, damn. John Adams and Joe Biden. Okay, so this is up to date. That's right. Uh, 
Let's see. So yeah, that was fun. Did you guys think that was fun? Maybe we could do that more in the future. I could do a, a stream where I just do quizzes. Could be a thing. Let's see here. Okay, now let's resume Seroth stuff. Yeah, maybe I should do a geography one, because I know that that site has um, has quizzes for... Um, uh, shoot, I got 75%, that's only a C. Um, but there's quiz... I know that there's quizzes for, like, maps of continents, but in different time periods. So like, I remember I once took a quiz. Um, it was, like, Europe on the eve of World War One. Yeah, we'll do that sometime on like a Saturday or a Sunday. That, that, that'll be a little fun, I think. So 37 days, we'll be at war. Then a verification says I'm paying all that attention. I'm doing the sextant quiz. Ah. Probably because the Republicans wanted to remove Johnson's ass once he became belligerent. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, but then why wouldn't they make him, well, I guess he just refused to nominate a vice president. I was going to say, why not give him a Republican vice president, then you can choose his successor, but then Johnson just wouldn't nominate one. Ashita. It shows you toilets and you have to guess what country they're from. <laughs> what? That's a very, very specific quiz. Iran! War! Okay, who are we helping? Who are we helping? The Socialist Federation of Iran. Alright, let's do it to it! Oh! Here we go. Have the speaker be president. Yeah, that's a good point. Iranian Civil War! Alright, so now we just wait. Well, we gotta... Hold. Uh, are we already building a... No, let's build a reactor there and there. Okay. on this infrastructure 10 15 percent still gonna take a while mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. No longer get the effects from the military budget boost. Lies! Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do that political sextant quiz at some point. Not not right after this stream, though. I've been sitting here for two and a half hours. I need to get away from it for a bit. Okay, so I gotta redraw the lines now that I actually have all five here. Very nice. 118 divisions that all say KILL REACTIONARIES! Yeah, this is gonna be such a waltz. how much of Serov's tendencies have rubbed off on CHG. Right, I'm gonna unlock the special Ordo Socialism answer on, on the, the political sextant. Thank you. 
hard though libertarianism isn't on the sextant. Oh, what a lame, what a lame website then. Um, yeah, I think we're doing, still doing real good in terms of the, the structure. What are we short on now? No, we kind of, we got some more, we got rubber now. Rubber situation is better than it was. This ship's through the roof! Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to make a new commander. The bear, Minishov. Minishov. Alright, uh, oh, my volunteers, shit. I haven't been using them. Uh, let's go after Tehran. Quickly, quickly! He who controls Tehran controls Iran. And here comes the second night of the Long Knives. Cut that music so far. Last forever. This time we'll get it right. We're always one death away, right? One death away from perfection. Come on, let's go! Leader, old guard, really? I just hired you. Oi, what's happening here? It's river crossing and the terrain. <sighs> How annoying. What a drag! See, the good news about helping the socialists is that um, we're in the corner. Uh, damn, it ain't happening here, is it? It really isn't. Uh, you know what then? I think it's time for us to go ahead and uh, sweep eastward. I don't think we're gonna. Or wait, is it an instant declaration when we do it this way? Effects when selected, effects when removed. I think it is instant. Let's at least try to help a little bit. Let's help them get Tehran kind of stabilize a little. Yeah, this just isn't. It's really not fucking happening. What the fuck? This is so hard. Oh shit! I'm out of anti-tank equipment. How did that happen? Uh, here we go. Anything else I'm short on accidentally? Nope, I think we're all good. Why don't your volunteers have a general? They do have a general! Vladimir Badenov! Alright. Next, we've got a... It feels late for it now, but maybe I should have been doing mountain infantry. Damn. Tough spot. You know what? I think our best bet is we gotta start this war, end it early, and then we can really go send them help. So, let the sweep eastward begin. Go, go, go! Go, go, everybody go. This should be no trouble at all. Yep. Tough break, Martinus. I heard that you were overpowered. Clearly, you're not. Alright, my National Socialism is up to 66%. Very nice. Can I send some Lend-Lease to them? No, fuck. Uh, 
Uh, request license production. And there we go. Central Siberians are gone. Now it's Red Russia versus Red Brown Russia. Uh, but hold on. What I'm going to try to do here... West licenses. Oh, dang it. I was going to just buy a bunch of licenses I didn't need just so I could give them factories that way. Damn shame. Come on, fill this in. Fill this in. Let's go. West Russian unifiers are all busted relative to the other regions. Yeah. Well, yeah, I will admit, Serov, Serov, his strong state ends up creating, well, Damn strong state. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, Revolution collapsed. Oh, she's so sad. Wholesome socialism versus wholesome socialism. Okay. Germany's neuters. Japan's dealing with Kishi. Bennett let the world burn. Italy watched the Middle East burn on their watch. Yeah, so hopefully the Socialist Federation can hang on for a bit. Keep up the pace! Let's go! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! The Imperial State of Iran has defeated the Islamic State of Iran in a war. Uh, this is troublesome. Imperial State's looking fucking huge. Oh no! We gotta go faster. Must go faster! Speed! How many troops does Sablin have? He's got 26 to 28. Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Why are they all in the fucking south here? Come, some of you come up here. Or whatever. Beat him with garrison orders for the flex? Garrison orders? What do you mean? Yeah, and a bunch of their troops are now trapped down here. So, uh, going pretty good for me, I'd say. Knowing this version of America, they're supporting no one. Yeah, at Imperial Iran... Actually, it doesn't look like anybody's getting... Volunteers. Just hang in there! Go, 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 go! This is where the helicopters would've been pretty swell. You can garrison enemy territory. Oh, I get it, I get it. No, I don't. Keep moving forward! Yeah, even taking their capital, it's not that much. What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come over here! Fuck me. It's definitely worse than front lines, but funny. So right now, we're in a bit of a rush. 
Alright, they've reached the sea, which is kind of good, but this is among the worst places to fight in the game. Yeah, I definitely agree. We're probably going to have to go all the way out to the peninsula. Shit. There goes the Democratic Republic of Iran. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on! Anti-tank equipment going, it's just disappearing. Like a turd in the wind. Great writing. <laughs> mm. I'm up north here. Shotum has been defeated. Fuck! It's basically just the two of them now. Fuck! I think we blew it there with Iran. Yeah, I should have just. It's not like I needed to do this early or we weren't going to be able to win. Fuck me. Keep moving, keep moving. Poor infrastructure, bad weather, massive terrain, and it does not get much worse. You were right. Moving so slow. Up. How close are they to capitulating? Mm, maybe like 70% ish. Get right here so supplies can come through. Come on. Brett. The Baluchi Liberation Front has fallen. Ugh, gotta hold on, socialists. Hold on. Hold on to yourself. get here then we're gonna get the supply okay supplies coming through in the north here now very good uh oh this guy got cut off but actually he has the port so he's fine improved academic base hey we got one more improvement on the way out that is something to be celebrated indeed the advanced development pays why Stalin put the gulags here. Yep, just getting there is half the punishment.
Peace conference. Is that us? Ooh. Yes! In the madness of daring, we chant a song. Okay, okay, okay. First things first. First things first. We've got to go help the Imperial State. Oh, the mountains would be a terrible idea, I think. But these guys aren't great either. We need to make mountain divisions, which we're working on. Um... Integrate all the places. Okay, and so let's do the same. Let's see. Then everybody forget it. My top, my top ideologies are anarcho-naturism, fifty percent; compassionate conservative, fifty percent; conservatism, fifty percent; Kamalism, fifty percent. Social democracy, fifty percent. Three way, fifty percent. Is that is that what you got? Uh, Ted and everybody said your worst ideologies are civic nationalism minus sixty two percent. That's probably supposed to say monarchism minus thirty two percent and individualist feminism minus thirty eight percent. Yeah, feminism that needs a fucking quiz. I don't even know what wave we're on right now. Of feminism like the fifth or maybe. But we did it. The uh, campaign is effectively complete. <laughs> All right, yeah. So let's let's turn off the cyberpunk music so we can listen to the inspiration for why I was doing the cyberpunk stuff. Yeah, I do think that this is one of the better. Like you know, every every. You see, when you're doing super event music, it's not about like oh, I would throw that on the radio. It's not about that. It's about does it fit the uh, context of the person, you know. So, um, what we're going to do here is uh, unify Russia and indeed get that super event. Here we go! Everybody ready? After the German pillagers have shattered the motherland, what parts of Russia that have not fallen under the German yoke directly have shattered into a mass of disorderly warlords? However, our history teaches us that we are stronger when unified, and it is only when unified that we stand a chance of standing against any enemies. It is necessary. The motherland must ride again rise again let's go we will now be known as the russian national soviet republic which we kind of already are the triumph of ordo socialism many international commentators and historians throughout the years have noted the stark effect the triumph of the reich in the 40s had on international ideals the victory of National Socialism transformed the world uh, forever, and this grim metamorphosis is no more apparent than on the lands of Russia. The Ordo Socialist Party, hailing from the now defunct Komi Republic, has reignited the, reunited the shattered warlords under the careful gaze of General Secretary Ivan Serov. Claiming to be the next stage of socialist thought, Ordo Socialism seemingly combines Marxism with radical nationalism and uh, xenophobia, pledging to combat the uh, forces of hereditary reactionaries wherever they lie and spread this ordo socialist revolution, it would seem that the Russian National Soviet Republic is poised to become a powerful player on the geopolitical stage. The world trembles at the thought. You can see they they like they gave her the symbol here and here and here. Very good work let's hit it class and nation we are with you but we are not yours do not think we have changed by acknowledging your red banner we recognize it only because it blooms with national colors nikolai ustralev class and nation Oh, the troll's back in the chat. I'm gonna time him out. I don't know how to pronounce his name because it's in Cyrillic, but all he does is come in and talk shit. So I'm just. Uh, all right, there you have it. Yeah, I really think that's a very fitting uh, song. And so dusk approaches the new order. Thank you for playing through the full content of one of our nations. Well, of course, the massive amount of work in this mod is thanks to our team. None of that would have happened without you. 
The people who supported us through the creation of this gigantic endeavor. Those who made high quality shit posts, chipped in here and there, left comments on developer diaries, and became part of this great community. Please visit our social media sites on the links attached in the opening GUI, which can be opened with the question mark button in the top right corner. Um, also, keep your eyes out for the new content. TNO will be continually updated with bug fixes, patches, content updates, new nations, and eventually a massive update will extend the game's timeline to 1982 and add a new starting date. Finally, a thanks to those who contributed art code, writing, testing, and community management since the project's beginning. Yes, thank you very much to everybody involved. Uh, as you guys know, I like to... Oh, this is the Order in Progress team specifically. Thank you very much to Admiral Akbar, Albert Spheres, Atomic Falco. You guys know I just like to read random names. Britannia Rules the Waves, Cameron, Death Griffin, Freed, Herenius, Cameron, Jesus 2.0, Major Murray, Magma in Space, Necron... Ne Necronunion, Nobita Boy, Old Boy 69, Pacifica, Phoenix Defender. Wait, hold on. If we're in the P's, where's uh, where's Pink Panther? Or Panzer? I guess he's technically not on the team anymore, so he's not on there. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, Pacifica, uh, Recombined Tiberium Project, Scars, Spugatti, T Dizzle 3D. The government! Yes, thank you to the government. Uh, I did check out that Seraph video, Patel Man. It was interesting. Trebeki, Wadder, Weird String of Characters, and of course, Yvet Yvetol Gaming, as well as all our former members. Is that, is that who's listed up here? Ah, there we go. Yeah, Batter Brains. Dick Cheney made money off the Iraq War. Dear Frenchie Kaiser. General Lissima Smith. Jungle Rat. Leonetsky. Smoothstead, uh, Thunderslav, Woodrow Wilson, the President of the United States apparently worked on this, you know. Zashish, Zero Scale, and then Strings of Characters. Alright, so, uh, we're pretty much done. The only thing we're gonna do here is try to win the, the war for the Socialists down here. Uh, see, the score I got was rather odd. I'll do some more readings on them. Czar Nick yeah, Czar Nicholas. Yeah, a lot of world leaders uh, helped with this mod. Uh, very interesting, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Let's move this over here. Young, Se your favorite rapper is Young Seneca Man. Uh, uh, there it is, our new order. So, uh, let's just wait for our volunteers to show up. I think it's too late, though. It might be, uh, because the terrain's rough. I had to have been researching mountain divisions. Because, like, let's look at the difference here. 6 to 10 divisions against 14 to 32. Yeah, we can't beat this. Nah, it's... We lost. We fucked it up. individualist feminist score doesn't surprise you what country will be next my dog um it's going to uh it's gonna be depending on who wins the poll if they want me to do a regular the moe order campaign or do another moe order campaign because if it's moe order i'm gonna do south america if it ends up if if the people end up choosing, um, oh, we counterattack there, I guess. Fuck. Um, if it ends up being, uh, people want to do live action TNO, I'll play Russia. I'll put the poll up at some point today. I'll try to remember too, but I gotta get away from the computer after this for a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. That's that. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, that is it for today. I am Conquering History Games. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, for this series, uh, I'm gonna stream tonight. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe so see, uh, maybe, um, I don't know. I might, I might do some, you know what? It might be French Revolution time tonight. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I might, we might be playing some, uh, We the Revolution tonight is what I'm thinking. Um, but, uh, anyway, 
Uh, I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you all at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Did, did I just call you? So I said, oh, never mind. Uh, I'll play Mao's Legacy next time I stream during the day. Anyway, you all have yourselves a nice evening. Who the hell is geolibertarianism? Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Bye-bye. <laughs>